Act two, music is too easy to consume. So this is the water faucet in my kitchen. But imagine this is streaming on Spotify or Apple Music. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, but what's going on in the stream of water is all of the music that's on these platforms. Now imagine this is one artist's entire output, their entire catalog. Might be The Police, could be Billie Eilish, could be Led Zeppelin, The Beatles. And then this dropper is each of their songs. One, two, three, four. Oh, I just did a whole record there. And eventually you exhaust their whole catalog. When I hit this and I start the stream, the music has very little importance if you think about it this way. It goes from the faucet, down the drain, out to the sewer, where it's recycled again. Except in this case, the music is not recycled like it is through the sewer. There were 100,000 new songs added every day in 2023 to streaming platforms. That's more than one song per second for the entire year. By comparison, when I was a kid, if I wanted to buy this Led Zeppelin II record, I had to get a job or borrow money from my parents to buy it because I wanted to own it. I wanted it to be in my collection. This album here, Pat Metheny, New Chautauqua, I paid eight bucks for brand new with the money that I made by bagging groceries at Topps Grocery Store in Fairport, New York. You actually had to expend energy riding your bike or walking to your job, working your shift, getting your paycheck at the end of the week, depositing it in the bank, getting money out, going to the record store, buying the record, bringing it home, playing it, listening to it a bunch of times, going over to your friend's house, sharing it with them. When a kid opens Spotify and clicks on on a song, they can just skip to the next one if they don't like it. Think about this. All of the music that exists, or at least it's been uploaded to Spotify or Apple Music, is available for $10.99 a month. I'm talking about all of Michael Jackson's music, all of ACDC, Pink Floyd, Whitney Houston, Tupac, Kendrick Lamar, Juice World, Eminem, Dr. Dre, all the works of Beethoven, of Bach, of Mozart, of Stravinsky, of Shostakovich, of Charlie Parker, of John Coltrane, of Miles Davis, Brad Meldo, of Pat Metheny, Keith Jarrett, all of that. $10.99 a month for the price of what we used to pay for one album. It's all available on these streaming platforms. Which is why music is not as valued by young people. There is no sweat equity put into obtaining it, having it be part of your collection, having it be part of your identity of who you are. These are the bands I believe in. These are the artists that I love and I'm gonna share it with my friends. I'm gonna bring that record to school. I'm gonna play it for my friends after school. We're all hanging out, reading the back cover of it and seeing who played on it. These things meant something. What was on here meant something. Produced by John Burns and Genesis. It was important. What I'm saying is that music has basically become valueless. If you only have to pay $10.99 a month to have access to anything, what is one song worth? You know, people tell me that they want me to make certain kinds of videos. They have these aspirational ideas, as my friend Todd calls them, but then they ultimately vote with their attention. Rick, make more what makes a song great videos. Make this kind of video. Or I wish that people would write songs in odd meters or use these more complex chord changes. But you know, ultimately, People will do that and then they don't listen to them because you vote with your attention. So try this, try to sit down just a couple times a week, play just a few songs. Don't look at your phone or as I call it, the thought deletion device because it empties your mind out. Don't look at TikTok, don't look at YouTube or Twitter, don't look at Instagram, just listen to the music, let it flow over you, think about the lyrics, think about the melody and try to experience music like you used to. Or if you're young, try to experience music in the way that we used to. Love to know your thoughts. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.